he gives a bit of a chuckle. He go, he so he grabs Tankard, he takes a sip, and he and he, well, he says, "This is a pretty good stuff." And then obviously the Tankard has been mostly wooden, a little bit like bits and pieces, or he's been broken off bits of glass, maybe stuff like that. Mm. Uh, he grabs it and he smashes it across the face. Proper smashes the whole thing into pieces on my head. At this point, I would like all of you, I'd like all of you to go off and just on the top middle where like your AC speed is. Oh my god, I got an, I got an 18 plus 2. Add your initiative to it. Uh, I got 17. I got 20. You got a 20 plus. I got 22. 17 plus 1. What's your initiative again? So, D and D, otherwise known as Dungeons and Dragons, is an imaginative tabletop role-playing game where a person called a DM or a dungeon master makes a world or settings or various types of cities and villages and throws the players into quests where they eventually become the heroes or villains of the story. That completely depends on the DM. You can put as much detail into the world as you'd like. There are official settings in the D&D world, each one with their own types of history and lore. Or a DM may choose to create an entirely new world of their own. This is known as homebrewing. The first step is creating your character. You start this by picking your race and class. There are many different character archetypes within D&D. These can include fighters, druids, rangers, monks and many more. Once you've chosen your character and backstory, with the DM's help, you can roll a set of dice to determine your character's stats. These stats can include strength, wisdom, agility, and much more. The amount of detail that goes into creating the character completely depends on the player, and that character's stats help determine how they respond in certain situations. A typical campaign can usually last from a few hours to a few weeks, months, or even years at a time. And the length of the campaign is decided by the DM. D&D is not a competitive game, but rather one where you work together to survive the campaign. A typical round of D&D usually consists of four phases. The DM will set the scene by describing the scenario, including the environment and any obstacles that the players will face, how they would like to respond to that situation. Depending on how the player chooses to react, a dice roll will then be made based on one or more of that character's stats. For example, if the scenario requires getting through a locked door, and the player decides to force the door open with brute strength, then a dice roll will then be made against their strength stat, to determine whether or not that action is successful. In this respect, the players have to learn to work together to take advantage of their respected stats and a good campaign is one that challenges the characters to work together. Depending on the outcome of the dice roll, the DM will explain how the situation plays out. If a player takes damage or is injured, then they will lose health points. And if the player loses all their hit points, then the character dies and they can no longer play using that character. If the outcome is successful, then the player may be rewarded with items that their character holds onto and then uses later on. This encourages a sense of growth and development with the character, which can lead to players getting attached to certain characters, making it more impactful if the character dies or rewarding if they succeed. Ultimately, D&D is a collaborative storytelling experience, which encourages creativity and teamwork, whilst being a fun way to spend time with your friends. My name is Jacob, and I am a Dungeon Master. I made this film to show my passion for this game, and to encourage others who may be on the fence to give it a try.